Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tinkle How To series where I'm going to show you through how to navigate yourself around the Tinkle desktop dashboard and hopefully fill in any of the gaps that you may have when it comes to using the platform. This is the Tinkle desktop and as you can see it's divided into separate areas where we have quick settings, call stats, timeline, presence, calls in the last seven days and talk time. Some of the settings here will be available for both standard users and admin users, whereas others will be only available for admin users, such as company settings, stats, music on hold, call routing and devices. To take you through some of the settings, within the personal tab, we have call forwarding, if we select call forwarding, we have the option to forward the call to a specific user by either typing in the user or selecting the user. Once selected, all calls will be forwarded to the user you have chosen. I also have the option to switch number. From here, I can also hide my caller ID, but I can also change the external caller ID name, which is sometimes useful if you're a sales team where you need to change your caller ID for various campaigns that you may be involved in. You can also change the number. Currently I'm using the Tinkle main line. For instance, if I wanted to use my own leads DDI, I could type in leads or one of them is actually set up with my name. I can select that and save. That will mean that all calls now will be going outbound on the new number. I also have a voicemail inbox. From here I can listen to all the voicemails that I've received. I can also delete them. I can uh, delete all read or just delete all in general. I can also search for voicemails from specific users so that uh, I can home in on exactly the voicemail that I'm interested in. Next we have the Tinkle app login. This is a QR code that you can scan from either the iPhone or Android application, which will allow you to log in with ease without having to use a username and password. Next we have Do Not Disturb, which is a really easy way to set your Do Not Disturb status by simply uh, select one of these options for instance I might be going for a break and let's say I'll be uh, on break until the end of the hour and I select save that will put me in a do not disturb status until that time I can also take that off by simply selecting available and saving Next, we have the business settings, which are, which are available to the administrators of the account. In here, we've got company settings, which are all the information that pertains to the business. We have stats, which I can show you in another video. Music on hold, which is really easy to use. We can simply just change the music on hold status to use a different um, music on hold. And you get a little preview of that music on hold before you update it. You can also use your own custom music on hold if you wish. You also have call routing and devices. Within devices, you can select the phones that you have currently within your estate and edit them and change the user that is currently using that phone and that will automatically provision onto that device. Going back to the dashboard, we have call stats, which gives us an overview of the calls for today. And after selecting that part of the pie chart, the calls for that segment appear on the screen. In the timeline here, I can see a overview of recent activity calls that have been made, missed, any voicemails. And presence allows you to see which users are online, which users are away from their desk on Do Not Disturb, 
and which users are currently active on a call. The statuses also correspond to the BLF keys on supported handsets. If I quickly make a call now, using my extension, you'll be able to see there that the call is made to that user and that number and the duration of the call. If I end the call, then the detail for that call will also disappear. Here we've got calls within the last seven days. And I can see there that there were some missed calls that were on the uh, on the 3rd of November. If I select that part of the bar chart there, I can see what which calls those were and potentially go back to those calls. Then finally below, we have talk time, which gives me an indication of the amount of activity over the last seven days. And that concludes the introduction to Tinkle Dashboard. Thanks for watching.